Oh, hello. So I'm officially 30 years old, and for my birthday this year, I wanted to have a funeral for my 20s. So I had a very dark and spooky party, and of course, I wanted to bring you guys along. I made a coffin, I dyed my hair, and of course, mourned my youth in style. So without further ado, here's what I did for my death to my 20s party. For my venue, I rented out a local dance studio and transformed it using all of my Halloween decor from home. I wanted it to be a whole experience so there were tombstones everywhere that my dad and a friend of mine had made, including the shrunken head from Beetlejuice. And then there were two spooky tables covered in cobwebs. This one had two zombie portraits, some eyeballs, a spider, and some lanterns. Everything looked so good when it was lit up at night. And then the next table had my tombstone, where I actually went to Walmart to print out my photo and stuck it in there. A bunch of LED candles so I wouldn't have to worry about burning the place down, and chocolate in a bowl because Halloween. And then next to that was a throne, which I ended up not using at all. The studio provided that. And then this was my favorite, Beetlejuice's headstone. My friend Carlos made that as well. And for seating, I just had black tablecloths with a pumpkin and candelabra for decoration. I got all of my LED candles from Amazon. And this is the food and drinks table with beverages. Had to have a skull holder for utensils. I wanted to have a photo booth type of situation, so I got out a backdrop that I had and set up my heart ring light in front of it so people could take pictures and videos with props, including Mr. Skeleton. Finally, this was my funeral corner. I had my pop-up coffin from Spirit Halloween, which was for gifts and cards. And then next to that was my In Loving Memory wreath, which I made myself for the occasion. And then the piece de resistance, my DIY coffin. I finished this the day before the party and it came out so well. And of course, I also had a memorial plaque to my youth lit by a few candles. And honestly, I think the funeral corner was my absolute favorite part of the room. It all looked so good and I just cannot get over how good my coffin came out. The red velvet looks amazing. I started the party off with the lights on, but this is what it looked like afterwards when we turned on the disco ball and the black lights. Everything looked so much spookier and the candles looked fantastic in the darkness. And I was leaning quite heavily into the funeral theme, so I had a whole playlist of funeral themed music for when people arrived right at the beginning. So when they walked in, you could hear somber organ music floating down the stairs since this was on the second floor of the building. I had also tied a bunch of black balloons up the staircase so people would know to go upstairs. And I want to say for the first hour, it was just all organ, dark symphony music. I probably won't be able to share it here with you, unfortunately, because of copyright, but I had everything from Chopin's Funeral March, which was also in Batman, by the way, uh, emotional music for pipe organ. I had Edward Scissorhands' Ice Dance, which is one of my favorite songs ever. It always makes me emotional. And then some Mozart pieces called Lacrimosa, which was a funeral piece. Toccata and Fugue in D minor, which is my absolute favorite organ piece of all time. I actually found a trance remix of Toccata and Fugue, so I played that as well just for fun. And then I found some really cool dark orchestrations of Anakin's Funeral from Star Wars and Gangsta's Paradise. I love that they had a dark organ and orchestra just playing these, so I had to include that in my playlist. And then this is my first outfit. Of course, I wanted to stick to the theme, and I was in mourning when everyone arrived. I have my amazing, beautiful lace and mesh dress from House of Widow. My corset is from Shein. My hat is from Wild Rose Boho on Instagram. I get so many questions about this hat because it is enormous. And then my mom got me this beautiful lace veil, which I just draped over the hat. And people had fun taking pictures with Mr. Skeleton and also some props, which included an axe and witch hats. Currently hiding in the studio, waiting to come out for my outfit change. I love these boots. So about halfway through the party, I did an outfit change and I wanted to surprise people so I just told them to keep an eye on the door for when I came in and I had a whole big entrance. I made a little track from Takata and Fuse, you know, the regular organ, and then I mixed it with the trance remix and it was so much fun and went really well. I was worried I would trip with my boots, but I did not. So here is my entrance with the music. Yeah. 
and then that kicked off the dancing portion of the party. There were only about six or seven of us on the dance floor, but we had a really good time. I played everything from YMCA to Thriller. I am also a very big Motionless in White fan, so I've been loving their new album, so of course I had to play some tracks from that. Werewolf is one of my favorite new songs. And I was quite surprised that I lasted so long wearing these thigh-high boots for dancing. I think I wore them until almost the end of the party and I danced my butt off. <laughs> I got them a while ago from AliExpress and I'll link that haul up above in the cards. But this was the part of my party that I had most been looking forward to. I love dancing and where I live it's kind of a small town so there's not a lot of clubs or places to go out and have fun. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> my weird dance moves. So I really wanted to create my own club for the evening. And there's my dad. He was so excited to come to the party and we're just chilling and dancing. And that was the only drink I got to have that night because I was so busy talking to everybody and going around and dancing. And this was my cake, which my boyfriend made for me. It was red velvet with black buttercream frosting and it was absolutely delicious. I don't know about you, but I always feel so awkward just standing there when people sing me happy birthday. I never know what to do or where to look, but it was really sweet. Then it was back to dancing. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dance moves are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> this is the first time I'm watching this back and I do not know what I'm doing. But then unfortunately people had to go home, so they trickled out one by one. This is the first time I'd ever planned a party like this in any capacity, so I was really happy with how everything came out and it was a good time. Being surrounded by my friends and family was the best birthday present ever. Just finished cleaning up everything after like a month of planning. It's so crazy, it went by so fast, but I'm so glad I did this party. And so far it seems like everyone had a good time. I definitely had a good time. But thanks for coming along and watching with me. So that is it for my death to my 20s. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me. But I was inspired to do this party by Nava Rose. She's one of my favorite YouTubers that I follow. She also had a death to her 20s funeral themed 30th birthday. So I took a lot of inspiration from her and made it my own. I had way too much fun making everything for this party. I'm so happy with how the coffin and the crown came out. Keep an eye out for all the DIY videos coming out to show how I made everything. And as always, hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.